Hi, it's Mike Yblowski, the web professor. I'd like to welcome you to my series of two-minute search engine optimization tips and hints for do-it-yourself website owners. Today's topic is setting goals for your website. In these recessionary times, too many people set up websites just because they think it's the thing to do. After a while and after spending a great deal of time and money, they often wonder why the site does not produce any sales. And so they either give up or have to practically start all over from scratch. That's good for people like me because it increases our business. But it's certainly not good for people like you. Therefore, I caution you not to fall into that website money trap. Let me take you back for a moment to Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Alice comes upon the Cheshire Cat sitting on a tree branch and grinning. She asks the cat for directions. Would you tell me, please, which way I ought to go from here? The cat replies. That depends a good deal on where you want to get to. Alice responds. I don't much care where, to which the cat replies, that it doesn't matter which way you go. The number one most important step in starting a successful business website is setting up realistic and measurable goals. What is the purpose of your website? What do you want it to do for your business? I remember a PowerPoint presentation I once evaluated for a colleague of mine on LinkedIn. The presentation was excellent. My only comment was, you left off the contact information. How can people get in touch with you? So if you do not know what you want your website visitors to do when they drop by, then surely they will find what they are looking for somewhere else. Do you want to generate sales leads? Do you want to sell things directly from your website? Answer these questions and then together perhaps we can build a successful site. Thank you. For more free tips and hints, please visit my website, DIYWebGem.com, or my blog, DIYWebGem.com forward slash blog. Have a good day. Please join us again. And as always, we invite you to join the discussion by entering your comments on our blog.